insulting. That's how one of the Auckland councillors has described the conditions imposed on them around the release of a council report into the feasibility of a downtown stadium. Ephesor Collins ended up complaining to the Ombudsman about it and yesterday a formal investigation was announced. But the Mayor, Phil Goff, is standing by his actions, saying it's clear someone is leaking information. Sarah Robson has the story. Monaco representative Efeso Collins is one of the councillors who's complained to the Ombudsman about the Mayor's handling of the downtown stadium report. He is also one of nine councillors who signed the letter that was given to the Mayor Phil Goff earlier this week, raising concerns about his leadership. One of their main problems, Mr Collins says, is the fact councillors were only able to access a full copy of the stadium report in the Mayor's office. So I find it borderline insulting for someone my age uh, being told here you can have a report and now can you give it back. Phil Goff told Morning Report that he stands by that action given the document contains commercially sensitive information. While he trusts most councillors, he says he's concerned about one in particular. At least one of those councillors leaked that letter and has leaked regularly other material that has been given. That's, that's on record. But Efeso Collins says the rest of the council shouldn't be punished for the actions of one councillor. My background's in education. This is like punishing the entire classroom because you've got one naughty child in the class. That's not how you approach education. And it shouldn't be how we approach mature elected councillors of Auckland Council. In an ironic twist, the existence of the letter to Phil Goff, outlining concerns about his handling of the report and his leadership was leaked to media before the mayor had even seen it. Afeso Collins admits that's not a good look. Of course that's hugely disappointing for me and you know, the very the very reason you know that Phil Goff was probably holding back on the stadium's report was because he didn't want it leaked and then this happens to us. Regardless, Afeso Collins says the councillors who signed the letter are worried about the way council meetings in particular are being run. If you look at who signed that letter, I'm at political odds uh, philosophically with a number of people who've signed that letter. So this isn't about a group of people who just suddenly decided to sign a letter. This is about a group of people who have felt like they've been belittled, uh, where their voices haven't been heard. If so, Collins says there's a sense that some councillors have greater access to the mayor, and that's not necessarily based on ability. One of the ten councillors who didn't sign the letter, Penny Hulse, says the ongoing issues are a bit of a distraction. The original handling of the report was a bit average, but I think this is just now getting a little bit ridiculous. It's going on and on, and for those of us who are pretty busy and have huge workloads, to be honest, it's a bit of a sideshow. Another councillor who didn't sign, Chris Darby, says those who did could have taken a different approach probably would have been much more appropriate to knock on the door because I found Phil to be extremely open. So is the Auckland Council dysfunctional? Efeso Collins doesn't think so. No, no, no way. It's not, it's not dysfunctional at all. And Phil Goff doesn't think so either. On the big issues, the council team has worked together. It's been very effective. But, you know, councils like, uh, like Parliament, it's like any group of people who are elected. There are 21 different opinions there. From time to time we disagree. That's part of democracy. Mōtia hōtaka o te ahi ahi, ko Sarah Robson, aho.